Hi, welcome to my analytics channel. For this demonstration, I will show you on how to build the random forest model. This random forest model uh, creates uh, many trees where each individual tree creates an uncorrelated forest of trees whose prediction by committee is more accurate than that of any individual tree. Moreover, this algorithm, according to uh, studies, that it provides higher accuracy and can handle missing values compared to a decision tree. In fact, the technique used in random forest is divide and conquer. And the main principle of this algorithm is to group of weak learners and can come together uh, to form a strong learner. Okay, to build our model, let us first check our data sets uh, to be used in this uh, demonstration. As you can see, I have here uh, the GPA, the category, and the other uh, subjects with corresponding grades, the faculty evaluation descriptive rating. But we are only using this particular part, the category, and to this part, okay, only. So we will be uh, applying a select attributes when we build our model. And as you can see, I have uh, missing values here. So let's try how this uh, random forest accommodate these missing values because in decision tree, uh, missing values will not be accommodated. Okay, let's process our data sets in this platform, the RapidMiner 8.2 version. Okay, to start with, we have to uh, click on this new process, select the blank process, then you are now directed to the interface of our uh, Rapid Miner Studio 8.2. And for you to load the data, all you have to do is just add the data and locate your data sets. So for me, I save my data sets here and my data sets grade the next. Click on the next button, next, then finish. So automatically, that data sets will be loaded here. As you can see, the Rapid Miner provides you the descriptive statistical result of your data sets. So you can uh, view the graphs of your data sets with the corresponding minimum grade and the maximum grade for this particular subject and the average, okay, the total average of the grades for this particular subject and the deviation. So this is what a uh, good thing of this rapid miner. It will automatically um, compute the uh, statistical uh, result of your data set. OK, let's build our model. Let's click on this design tab. Then you have to drag your data sets in the process area. Then uh, the first thing to do is uh, since we are not uh, including all the attributes in our data set. So we need to uh, apply the select attributes operators like here. So you have to connect the port from your data sets to this operator. Then uh, we have to select the parameter here, the subset. Then you have to select the attributes. So we will be using this one, the um, Okay, the category, and we are not including the, of course, the faculty evaluation. We are we're not including this descriptive. Okay, so we'll, okay, these are the grades. So as you can see, we have here the grades, and we have here the category that classify the grades. Okay, then click apply. Okay, since we have already um, selected some of the attributes from our data sets, let us now apply our set rule. Okay, so to be used for classification, of course, you have to connect the port. Then, once this selected, you have to uh, select the attribute name, the category. Okay, and you have to change your target role to label. Okay, then um, we will be uh, splitting the data. So we have the 70% of 
our data will serve as a training data sets and the 30 percent will serve as our testing data set so we will be applying this split data operators here before we apply our model okay then select the split data then you have to make a partition okay the first partition is our training data set 70 percent okay then you have to add more entry for our testing data set which is uh, 30 percent okay so we have already split our data now let's apply our model the random forest algorithm okay here so uh, we need to um, to connect the 70 percent of our training data set to our model the random forest model then we will apply that uh, model okay we will include apply model okay then the 70 percent will be uh, we need to check the model and the uh, 30 percent for the unlabeled then also we will check the performance classification of the model so we will be applying this operator performance classification here then you have to connect the label here with the 70 percent and we have to connect the performance result and our testing model okay to the result and our data sets here for our model okay we're generating three results here the performance of our model the um, apply model our testing model and our random forest uh, model okay so let's check the results okay then um let's check first our performance vector we have 92.16 for this model using the split data operator and we have here our trees here as you can see we have multiple trees here so for this tree the root node is physics then um, this is the this is the subject that you have to look into then you before you proceed to the next okay subject so that you can know the classification then um, you can check the um, figures here by just uh, position your cursor in this part okay so the other three is we have here the PE so this is the three that the random forest created we have also here this subject the MIL we have also the entrap here the physics the PE so we have two PE already the stat the root node stat we have two stats here and this uh, subject I don't know this one and the other one is the calculus okay so this is how the random forest uh, provide you the individual tree okay then our model so this is the uh, result of our model the prediction result okay we have 51 samples of our prediction so you can verify okay how our model uh, predict this um, data sets okay so um, let's go back to our design and let's try to build uh, if we're using a cross validation operator so let's see how it affects our result okay let's uh, review first the results that we have here for our performance vector we have 92.16 let us uh, rebuild our model by using the cross validation and let us check the changes of our results all we have to do just delete this part okay then you have to change a cross validation operator okay if you remember our performance result is 92 then you have to connect that then double click then you are directed to this interface or training interface and our testing interface in our training interface we need our random forest algorithm okay then you have to connect this one here then your model okay then we apply our model okay when we apply our model here just click on that and your testing model because this is the 70 percent and this is the 30 percent if you remember 
then we also uh, apply our performance to check the performance of our model, so performance classification. So here, then you do apply the performance here and connect the result of our performance. Then let's go back to our uh, cross-validation of the process so that we can connect all of this result. Okay, um, just connect your model to check the result of our model. Our rapid minor for, uh, random forest data sets and our performance. And also let's check our testing model. So you have to connect our testing model here. Okay, the uh, testing part here. So then we have already enabled our testing so that we can connect our testing result. Okay, so we have four results uh, to be expected here when we run this model. Okay, let's run this model. Okay, so this is the um, result of our model. So as you can see, let's check first our performance vector. So it decreased to 90 compared to the split data operators, we had 92.16 classification performance. So therefore, the split data operator will be uh, recommended to be your model. Okay, so um, we have also here the cross validation results, the random forest that we built. Okay, here. So let's check. Okay, same. Okay. Here the chemistry. So this is how the random forest um, builds your tree. Okay. Okay, that's all. And thank you for watching.